Assalamu alaikum. So um, I have a little time to talk to you. I want to have a very candid conversation with all of you here today. But first of all, I want to thank MPAC for all the work that they have done and continue doing to uplift our voices. You know, today we're living in times where we find ourselves at the risk of losing our jobs, getting suspended from schools, being doxxed, and getting censured by colleagues for speaking up against the genocide. And at the worst, at the worst, being stabbed just for being a Palestinian and Muslim. That's where we are today. And I know throughout the day you've heard many speakers talk about the need for more people in politics, in policy, uh, in journalism. And it is so critical right now because those voices are so limiting. They're so few. You know, at the local level, I'm not at the federal level. I'm at the local level. We're dealing with people on the ground within our city in Irvine. And my job is to keep the peace within our city. It's to make sure that I'm protecting everyone in our city while making sure that their freedom of speech is still given to them. That when protesters come out and protest, that they have that right. And they have that right to do so every week as they have been doing. And they have the right to show up at Congresswoman Katie Porter's office and protest. <laughs> that they know that they can reach out to me and ask me what happens when she calls the police and I tell them nothing. You have the right to protest. You have the right to say what you have to say. And she has the responsibility of responding to you, which she has not. And so when I stand here before you, I'm doing my job. And it's a hard job right now because within our city, I've got a UCI student, a young woman, protesting on campus, being told by an associate professor that she should be raped and killed. I've got a young woman working at the Apple store at Spectrum, being shouted at with obscenities for wearing a kafaya. I've got parents reaching out to me saying that their kids are being bullied in schools. But I have an issue each time I ask them, can you please submit a report to IPD? I'm going to do everything I can to fight for you, but submit that report so we have that data that I can take to the county and other levels of government and show them the numbers that we are being affected by. They back away. And that's a problem. And I have told them over and over again, that I will stand with you. I will be your shield. I will do everything I can to protect you. But I need those numbers. So when I go in, and I had the Attorney General, Rob Bonta, a couple weeks ago in Irvine, we were talking with community leaders on hate crimes and what's needed from the state. And we're looking at data numbers. And we're not there. Yet I know we're there because I hear those stories, because I know people are reaching out and telling me, but we're not submitting those numbers. So my ask of all of you today is, I don't care how big or how small an incident is, will you please report it? Will you please make sure that those numbers reflect what we're being faced with in our community? And if you know of someone that is going through this, urge them to report it as well. In fact, report it on their behalf. Make that happen. Because when I go and talk to these folks and they look at the numbers, they're like, oh, there's not much going on in the Muslim community. They seem to be doing well. Are we well? I don't think so. And that's the message we need to get out there as well. We need to let people know that we're not well. And so that's my ask of you today. 
And, um, and I also want to share, a lot of people have been asking about, you know, what, what goes on at the city council level? Let me tell you what goes on at the city council level. Irvine is considered one of the affluent communities that are doing really well. We're progressive. We're taking bold action on the environment. Uh, we're doing a lot on transportation and housing. And yet, at the last council meeting, when I asked my council that I wanted to adjourn the meeting in memory of innocent lives lost in Israel and Palestine, not one of my colleagues seconded my motion. Remember that. Not one. That's the state that we're in right now. That the minute you mention Palestine, you're the bad guy. The minute I shared a move on petition on my social media, Within hours, hundreds of responders responded, all telling me to take it down. Why? When have we become a country of people that want to go out and be at war or kill people? When has that become more popular than wanting peace? That's the question we should be asking everyone. And that's been my response, that each and every time I will stand for peace, I will speak up for peace, and that's where I have been and will continue to be. And then we have the Orange County Board of Supervisors. I don't know if you guys have seen the letter that they put out, the statement that they put out, where Muslims are compared as barbaric. Barbaric. And I have to thank our community for stepping up and showing up at their meeting and telling them who they are. Because right now, that seat of the chairman is up for election. And, um, and I'm challenging him. <laughs> because we cannot afford to stay silent anymore. We cannot afford to not speak up and not take action and not demand that we be respected. That's our time right now. We are tired of being the joke in comics, of being the last people to be talked about or cared about. It's time we took the forefront. And it doesn't come to us by someone handing it to us. We have to fight for it. And it's time we started fighting. <laughs>